As a videographer, concerts are one of my favorite types of events to film. However, unlike other niches in videography and photography, like weddings and real estate, it might not be as immediately obvious how you can make money as a concert videographer as you can with those other fields. And so in this video, we're going to talk about five key ways you can make money as a concert videographer and how you can do this to start to resemble the types of numbers you would see and say take home if you were shooting something like weddings. Now, before we begin, it is worth pointing out a few key disclaimers. Number one, if you're wondering what type of concert I typically film, I would definitely encourage you to check out the videos on my channel that relate to concert videography, which I will leave a link to above and in the description below. Number two, I am going to talk about money and different figures here, but mostly in the realm of different ranges. I live in the U.S. in the Philly to South Jersey area, so what I'm talking about here relates to sort of what I know, but of course, your market and your mileage may vary. And number three, we're going to talk about not necessarily here five different concerts that you can film, but actually how you can make through multiple different revenue streams money off of one type of concert gig. And that is perhaps maybe the other unique angle to this video. Now, although I film all different types of concerts for a variety of different bands, the types of concerts I'm going to mostly focus on here for this video are these sorts of teen rock school events that I typically film. These are groups of kids put together into different bands by a program with some local music stores, and every few months or so, they get together in front of family and friends at a nearby venue and perform roughly an hour or so set of music for all of those different folks to hear. So if there's money to be made in filming a concert of this kind or any, it is of course, number one, full set coverage. These shows only happen once every few months at a specific location, and so sometimes, depending on the family or friend that wants to make it out, they just simply can't. But even beyond that, if you're one of the kids who played in the band or are one of the parents of those kids, you probably want something to take away from this gig more than just a memory of the show. And frankly, like any event, being able to watch that back and relive it over and over again is a great experience unto itself. And of course, as a videographer, you have the best ability to be able to capture the best moments of this show, being able to get the best audio from this, this, mix that audio correctly, color grade the footage appropriately, so on and so forth. So let's do a little bit of math here. Let's say in this program you have three different bands. Each of those bands has roughly 10 different kids. And you want to be able to sell back to those kids and those parents the full set of the show they performed. And hey, maybe to even other folks as well who are interested in it. So let's say you pick somewhere in the range of $20 to $50, maybe we'll say $30 to sell back this set of songs to each of those kids and their families. Now, truthfully, $30 for an hour-long cut of a multi-camera show that has color grading and audio treatment is pretty low, all things considered. But if you're able to confidently sell back that set to each of those kids in the show, we are now talking about 30 times 30, in which case is roughly $900. Meaning you can make the cuts of those sets just once, but be able to sell it back to each of those kids. But truthfully, this isn't just a kid's concert model. You could film almost any concert and sell that back not just to the individual members of the band, Band, but to anyone in that audience who would want to see it. But as I mentioned, one of the key other customers involved here is the actual music schools or folks that are running these programs. And so, of course, we should talk about number two, promotional videos. Yes, the folks actually running these programs probably want to keep them going and or get them growing. And so in order to do that, you want to have videos that will ultimately promote the product out there. And the product is those concerts themselves. Now, as the videographer who made these cuts already of the different sets that we just talked about with full set coverage, number one, you probably have a good idea of the best moments of the show, those that sound the best, those that look the best. You're probably aware of those things that would make the best material for social media, whether that's a 15, 30, or 60 second commercial clip, or something like a full cut of a song. And so now let's do a bit more math. Say maybe you want to charge something in the realm of 50 to $200 to put a different promotional video together. Maybe a 30 to 45 second commercial clip. Something that has a little bit of graphics in it, of course, but by and large, probably the actual songs and different content of those clips you've already cut from the main full set coverage videos. Now, maybe you offer something like $75 for a full horizontal 30 second commercial clip and maybe $25 for a vertical clip, so $100 total. And yes, I do have a full video that talks about how to turn your horizontal videos into vertical video clips, especially if you are a Final Cut Pro user that I will leave a link to above and in the description below that you can check out. But at volume or scale, you're willing to make deals there. So say, rather than six videos for 100 apiece, you're able to do six for $500, or perhaps eight for $600. And if you're able to sell eight commercial promo videos for $600, that 600 added to the 900 means you're up to a total of $1,500 just for shooting that one concert. But talking about promotional videos is only one side of the promotional coin, because we should also talk about number three, which is promotional photos. Yes, even as a concert videographer, 
promotional photos. So quite literally what happened in my case was the fact that there used to be a number of different local photographers that would come out and shoot these concerts prior to myself capturing video. Inevitably over time they just ended up sort of utilizing me to shoot video and I got asked, hey, could you provide some photos for one of these gigs? And so although I initially wasn't sure and sort of committed to doing a best effort with the whole thing, needless to say, I ended up developing a pretty good workflow and process of how to pull still frames from those videos and deliver them as photos. And yes, as a fun fact, I have a whole separate video also that talks about taking your videos and converting them into still images that I will also leave a link to above and in the description below. And so again, let's maybe do some math. Let's say for every 25 photos you pull and deliver as finished images, you want to charge somewhere between 50 to $150. So maybe averaging around 100. If the music school or organizers running those shows want to have, say, 75 photos, that would come to a total of $300. Or maybe you even also still offer a sort of more generous package that provides 100 photos at that $300 price. Now $900 plus $600 plus $300 puts us at around $1,800 total for just that one gig. But yes, of course we're not done because there are even more ways to make money off of this same single concert. And that comes now to our next point of number four, raw footage. Yes, so in the course of filming this large concert, you will likely have hundreds and hundreds, if not more, of gigs of footage. Multiple different camera angles, multiple different audio sources, all the types of footage and content that would be valuable for the schools or program putting these together to have as sort of an archive reference, but also something perhaps that even an individual attending the show might want to see and have access to for their ability to make their own edits or different cuts of things. Much as folks who are willing to deliver raw footage for other types of things like weddings, yes, of course, you could do this for concerts as well. And maybe in this case you charge something like two to four hundred dollars, maybe averaging around three hundred, say maybe a hundred dollars or so for an SSD that you would want to put that footage on to deliver, and then the rest being your time and effort it takes to deliver that. If off of that three hundred dollar total we were to ignore the one hundred dollars of cost to get a drive for something like that, and just consider the two hundred dollars of profit there, we would add that two hundred to the nine hundred, six hundred, and three hundred we already have to bring it to a total of two thousand dollars for just this one single concert gig. But yes, we are still not done with being able to deliver different types of edits from this show because we should really talk about a very unique aspect of this that you might not have expected, which is number five, customized edits. Let's say you have family, friends, or even a kid themselves that wants a sort of customized edit from this actual concert footage that you're capturing. So maybe this is a customized edit that just has these specific songs and full versions of those songs that a particular kid performed in, or maybe this acts as a sort of highlight reel of the best moments of that kid from those shows, and maybe this is something you do just for a particular show that you recently filmed, but of course if you're the type of videographer that keeps all of your long-term at least finished edits, you might very well likely have multiple versions of shows that you can go back to and pull things from for things like highlight reels. So again, for different customized edits, let's say you charge somewhere in the neighborhood of $50 to $200. Say you pull a few hundred dollar customized edits from that most recent show, and also a $200 version where someone wants you to go back and utilize some archival footage as well. Three $100 edits and a $200 edit add up to $500 in customized edits alone. And that plus our $900 in full set coverage, are $600 in promotional videos, $300 in promotional photos, $200 in raw footage, and $500 in customized edits add up to a total of $2,500. Yes, $2,500 just for one single concert that you filmed. Maybe with a little bit extra on top if some previous shows are part of that. You can see how pretty quickly you can start to take something like a simple concert and start to scale it to the level of pricing that would start to emulate what you could charge for shooting, say, weddings or much larger events. But of course, because I have trouble sticking to some of these finite numbered lists, we should talk about one more thing, which is some additional math, but not in the way of addition, but rather multiplication. So yes, what I just discussed here is one particular type of concert gig occurring in one single situation. Situation. And regardless of the frequency that this occurs, you will probably know that even in a smaller market, but certainly in mid-sized to large markets, there's a lot more going on than perhaps just one concert and one sort of band situation that you can capture. So you can utilize your different resources as a videographer and or photographer to start to network with different bands and musicians that come through that circle, be it parents of those kids, be it the kids themselves going into different bands and playing with different folks, and start to deliver one or more of these services to other different types of bands that are looking for for the same or similar things. Yes, you might not be able to make the same amount of money with each of these types of situations, but who knows, you might be able to make even more. So yes, even though the hypothetical number here we talked about was 2,500, you could take something like that 
and offer it to other different bands and similar situations at an almost infinite amount. Simply put, do good and consistent work and deliver it on time, and you may find that as far as filming things like concerts go, the sky is truly the limit. And so that is five plus ways of how you can make money as a concert videographer. Now, hopefully this video has been of some help to you. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe if it has. Again, I have a number of different videos around concert videography already on the channel that I would definitely encourage you to check out, and there will be more on the way. For now, that is all I have to say, so thanks for watching. Thank you.